This playthrough is rated E10+. Alright, this is it. We're finally hitting the funnel area again. And this is a final, like, two sections. Like, one is the ent entering that part, and the two is the final complex. So technically, this is two areas in one. But, uh, alright, let's head into the, uh, let's head into this, uh, the Alice Summit and finish this thing. There it is. Yeah, this kind of reminds me, like I said, of any Final Fantasy game where you get to the top of a crystal tower, or, uh, was it, uh, reminds me of a Paladin's Quest. I need to do that game one of these days. That's a, that's an odd RPG if I've ever heard of one, and not a lot of people talk about it these days. I mean, people did at the time when video, do people do videos of obscure RPGs, but, uh, yeah, one day. But anyway, let's, uh, head on to the Alice Summit. Alright, let's, uh, let's prepare for lunch. Uh, I think I've already... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do this by myself because the final boss will do too much damage to my allies. And I finally got 120% on my spark shot, so eh, not too bad on my uh, NG and this. Now, like I said, if you're worried about anything, you might try maybe the missile pods uh, for the final boss is susceptible to to this. Um, or sorry, the wireless missile pods and uh, the, uh, a energy field, a repair field would also be really good. There's a good spot in one of the... Uh, uh, spots during the uh, final boss that you can use it a couple times to get a use out of it because a repair field you have to set it down and stand in it and a lot of times you don't really get a good spot to do this but the, the final boss has a couple spots for that that would be solid i said uh you know having the armor can help a little bit it's not required but it helps and really having a bunch of spark shots really really helps like i said you can do this with any weapon um and a combination it's just spark shot just makes it a whole lot easier so but and for weapon probably should use the shotgun but I'm, i want to use the napalm so all right, let's do it. No use. We can't go any higher. So much for the almighty warship. You kidding? No other carrier could ever get this high up. Even the society's warships could, would choke and die. Oh, stop bickering. We're here saving the world here. Besides, Atlas could attack at any moment. We're out of options. I'll, con I'll continue by Bonzer. Bring her up to ramming speed. <laughs> ramming speed! I'm not planning on coming back. I want you to evacuate the safety. No way. I'm staying right here. Listen, it's too dangerous up here. If Atlas explodes, you won't have time to get clear. Head back. What about you? There's got to be an escape pod inside. Oh, sure, sure. Maybe it won't even come to that. I'll figure something out. Don't worry. Reckless to the bitter end. But this is the last time, okay? When all this is over, we'll go on vacation. Just us two. Promise? Promise. Wish me luck. Just the two of us. Don't you dare die on me. I'll never forgive you. Alright, this is it. The final area of the game. So make sure you have your heels and everything like that. So, And like before, this, uh, you can also get the... Um, uh, for the final uh, Atlas Summit, till we get to the final area, there are there's an A2 here, repair for eight thousand dollars, bullet and a half, uh, HP and a half, chafe and bullet. There are sphere droids here, sphere droid masters, wall drones, and sweeper drones. Uh, this one you have to. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, boy, this is gonna be tough because this is gonna be just waste a lot of resources. Another case of really don't mess with the Albert stuff. I really wouldn't suggest it for the final bit of the game. It's not worth it. But I'm showing you anyway, because I'm a crazy person. Alright, let's get in there. Yeah, okay, so that's... A uh, room is pointless. I don't know why that's there, but I want to show you what happens if you go that way. Yeah, it's just an enemy. Okay. Thanks, I think. I want to try to not use all my spark shot if I can for this, just because uh, it'll really help against the final boss. Okay. I mean, I have a lot of spark shot. I just... If I can help uh, kind of mitigate my uh, uses of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. No, I said luckily some of these guys will stay, stay, oh, ow, okay. Luckily some of these guys will stay down, so. So I have to play this a bit smarter before. I might, I might be overplaying the difficulty of this final section of the game, but it is a challenge. I thought. 
just double checking. Because last time I, I played through this, other than pre prepping for the finale, I didn't actually go try to find every chest. I tried to rumor where most of it was, but... Uh-oh, yeah, these guys, those guys are trouble because they can just charge into you and do, like, a ton of damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, whoop. All right, there's the... There's the drone master. And we have to destroy this thing, by the way. It's not one I can avoid. And he keeps summoning more uh, droids, too. I wish I had maxed out uh, Napalm. I could have done that, but I really didn't want to uh, spend forever doing that. But yeah, if he, uh, if he gets uh, destroyed, um, you can continue on. Without destroying him, we can't. We can't. Yeah, I'll just use those. Uh, spark shot on this since I've got a decent amount of ammo. Since I hit 120%. Ah! Yeah, especially on these drones. Okay, there's the... Yeah, we lost a bit of life. I'll have to... I'll probably end up trying to use repair fours and stuff like that. And I know I know where the final HP heal is. It's like right before the, the final door before we fight the boss. Spoiler, there's going to be a final boss. Oops. Yeah, very appropriate for final boss music. Oh, I might not be able to go high enough. I might have to go back down to the uh, elevator. Nope. Is there another aspect of that? Yeah, you have to stop anyway because you have to fight the uh, you have to fight the drone master, the master of drones. You ain't been droning around all day, no sir. Sitting here, right in my beautiful balloon. I mean, beautiful elevator. My dinky arm, right there with the gun. It just seems smaller than it should be. Uh oh. Oh no! Dang it. I was hoping not to get hit by the the drone sphere. Okay, maybe I'll use spark shots on these guys. They're pretty annoying to mess with. So, okay, right, there's a treasure chest in there. I keep saying treasure chest. They're not technically treasure chests. Alright, got some money. Eight thousand dollars. Cute. Totally not worth it because we're at the end of the game. Why give us money? There's nothing there's no there's no post game. Like yeah, like there, there's no like here we can you can go back and redo the levels after the game's over. You know, that type of thing. Nothing like that. Try not to get extra hit, if you know what I mean. All right, let's go. This, I think there's a. I thought I saw a mech. Never mind. I thought a mech could spawn in here for some reason. All right, first aid two. I don't need to use it, but good to know. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm being a lot more cautious than I usually am, just because of the whole. Two of them. Total wasn't prepared for two. Uh, actually, well, I, mean, I knew there was gonna be two. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I might go ahead and use the spark shot. It just makes it so much easier. Yeah, see, like I said, folks, that, like if you don't have the spark shot, I feel bad for you. At least, at least bring one. If any, if you're even if you're one of those that's trying to make this final bit uh, more challenging or less challenging or more challenging, I mean, you want to at least bring one. You know, just to just to help you with the small fry, so it doesn't waste all your resources. Yeah, it's one of those cases. Just help you remember to. Uh, uh, oh, let me get out of the. Actually, let me step out of the Mac. Well, actually, there's a drone, uh, sphere drone here anyway. So, ah, whew. okay, they're doing a lot of damage. Right now. now I'm just gonna stand here. And Okay. Any more drones? Okay. Yeah, there's a spot for Albert to uh, get off here, so hopefully. Whoop! Oh! Good thing you can't die to fall damage. That would suck. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 
dying to fall damage, that would be the ultimate, like, insult or whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's a repair four here. Actually, let me go, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use a repair four before I drop in there. I was going to, and then I forgot, so. Okay, a good thing Albert's, uh, um, Albert's thing is, uh, full, is, uh, uh, infinite rocket pack, so. Infinite it's rocket power. Let's see if this drops me out. Okay, good. All right, now we can grab it. All right, repair kit four, and make a note of that that chest over there. Oh, make a note is and it's there, but uh, yeah, we're probably getting it. Yeah, for the final area, man, I'm surprised they even have us do all this, like, ex random exploring and stuff like that because of the whole, you know. Huh, just enough of a spot I don't have to worry about fighting that guy. Or getting hit by that guy, anyway. So, alright. Let's see. Okay, I have to get to the other side. Here, so. I guess really I mean yeah you technically still get experience uh, for your max while while doing this it just won't show there's no way to look it up unless you finish the level that type of thing let's see yeah we can go back this way loosely if you fa if I fail here someone's gonna have to lead the Guardians to and putting an end to this thing that somebody's you but I don't know why uh, why our profile blacked out but whatever no buts the Guardians no the world needs you I can't let you die here. I'll go. Just promise me you'll make it out alive, please. I will. Why did he talk all of a sudden? She's not with me. I think this is where the it would kick out any ally you've got, if I remember. But I didn't have anyone equipped, so I don't know why it said. Actually, if, if the game actually had a thing where it talked to all of your allies, maybe that's what it's doing. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I played the actual ending for this, so. I pull one and a half. HP one and a half, yeah. All right, and then there should be way one more. Ah, nuts. Wasted that last little bit of... Oh. All right. Another... Uh, oh, see, there's two spots so we could go through the bottom here. Unfortunately, there is a... No, I don't think I can actually... Okay, there we go. Sometimes you can... Get your maneuver yourself through these if you're lucky. Okay, let's see. I think that's another drone or one of those uh, uh, multi shot drones or whatever. I think. Oh, maybe it's up. All right, shape dispenser and special bullet weapon. I think that's it for all the uh, uh, items. Double check something. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I don't think there should be any, uh, treasure chests in here. Yeah, I think it's all boss, or all enemies, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Because according to my notes, I've gotten everything. Yeah, the game is nice enough to give us, if you, if you take, like, maybe a small amount of damage, you can get one last heal, because you'll need it for the final boss, so... Hopefully you didn't use almost any, no, little to no resources in terms of like your special items and whatnot. And since we got that bullet one and a half, see all my spark stuff's back to, to normal, so. So I've got plenty of spark for the end, so. I probably could have been a, bit, a little bit more loose with it, I'll admit. Uh, I just, I'm always one of those say, oh, guys, I'm afraid even though I've got plenty of spark shot. But you know. All right, let's do it. Final area. All right, Harry, I've reached the top. We finally made it to the top of Atlas. What awaits us here, though? Hope it's not a big old boss. That'd be weird. What the, Janoyce, how'd you get here? Yeah, the eight. Janoyce? Don't act so surprised. We're both here for the same reason. How'd you get past the defense system? Yeah, I had to 
I had to bust my butt through this whole thing. How to get out of Albert, get all those treasure chests. There better be a dang good explanation for this. Royce's pendant to get the automated defenses at bay. Backdoor access. Go figures. Phrasing. Yeah. But this is as far as we get on our own. I'm going to need your help from here on out. Help? Come and see for yourself. Okay. This better not be a prank, bro. Alright. Head into the center itself. Danger? What do you mean? Like electricity? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what this thing has. Whoa. It's a big black orb. This is it? The core is protected by a powerful defense system. I can take care of the shell, but the rest is up to you. Hard to believe we had to come this far to finally work together. Don't start getting sentimental on me. Let's go. Alright. I'll just destroy this while you plant the bomb. Are we going to set us up to bomb? Ah! Janoise! He got knocked out. What the? The core? Damn it, run! If that energy built up, if that built up energy goes off, we're both done for! The fires of Atlas. The fires of Atlas? I'll show you the fires of humanity. Time to shoot the core for the final boss time against the fires of Atlas himself. All right, so the fires of Atlas has five different forms. First form here is uh, you got a blue sphere in the center, which I'll show you the second of those uh, those uh, uh, barrier protector barriers on him. What that does is it protects you from shooting him from the sides, so you have to get him from the bottom or top, or depending on how they moved. Unless you have the spark shot, then that completely avoids them and attacks them directly. Uh, if you uh, want to make this easier, the wireless gun pods, you can set those up and have them auto attack the uh, core, and that'll make it easier if you don't have access to the spark shots for whatever reason. Uh, this first stage, I would think, is the heaviest, uh, I believe is the, the da most dangerous one. It's the, uh, uh, just the attack uh, phase. Um, Atlas Core Stage 1 has a 5 level armor, it has a tractor blast, and homing energy salvo. Tractor blast is that it'll hit the ground, and, it, and if you're on the ground, it'll stick you in place for a couple of seconds, and that's enough for the tractor blast, or sorry, the homing energy salvo to do like a ton of damage. This is probably the part of the phase where you'll take like a ton of damage. Whoop. No. All right. See, yeah, if those things hit you. Your your HP will drop like a rock. So be careful. Whoa. Yeah. See that? Look at that. Only a handful hit me. And I already took like a ton of damage. So, but if you have the spark shot, this is a lot easier. You just have to basically kind of go around in a circle. Whoop. Yeah. Watch out for that home tractor thing. I have to uh, heal myself. Oh, we already finished uh, phase one. You saw his HP go down. You saw it reset. That's phase two. So, uh, so uh, make sure. Um, I'm trying to think if it's this phase or the second phase. Technically, during phase one, you could probably set a repair field down at the bottom. It lasts for quite a while, and that'd be a good spot while you're running around. Run into it, heal, keep doing that, and that'd be a way to get past it as well as using the missile pod. But anyway, we've got uh, boss stage two. Um, it's got armor level five, and its big thing is energy tentacles. I'll show you here in a second. So yeah, it uh, goes around the field, tries to hit us, to hit us with those things. As you can see there, it does a decent amount of damage. Not as much as the energy salvo, at least personally to me. So, as long as we can avoid them, avoid the noise, we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, this one's not... Okay, phase three. All right, phase three is the um, uh, the Atlas Core phase three. It is, for stage three, it is armor level five, and it's got revenant drones. So, what happens is those drones will just attack us. So, we have to attack the core while dealing with the revenant drones. But, since I've got spark shield, uh, or spark shot, I don't have to worry about them too much. I can just walk back and forth. They don't do a ton of damage. They'll just shoot at you. And do, uh, do a decent amount of damage, but not enough screen. Okay, phase four. So, uh, boss four. Uh, um, just uh, this phase, he'll just try to um, run into us. Watch, I'll show you here. So, yeah, he just tries to charge into us. It actually doesn't do that much damage. I mean, okay, it does a lot of damage, but the thing is, well, anyway, let's use the four. Actually, I would well just heal myself completely. We're almost done with this thing. But yeah, don't let this thing hit you. Um, just make sure not to be standing in place when it hits you, so. Whoop. Yeah, be careful. Ah. Yeah, just make sure to keep spark shotting it. Or whatever weapon you're using. Like I said, if you have a, if you have your basic weapons, whatever. Yeah, it should be, it should be almost done. Alright, here we go. And that's it. Uh, technically, there's a stage five, I believe, um, but uh, uh, on that one, it's just a. Well, actually, I guess technically. Well, anyway, 
Stage 5 is basically just a version of the final one, so. But we've already got it, so. This takes care of the core. Run! Is there anything else we can do for this thing? Just let it fully blow up. Okay, wait, wait. Let's get out of here. Alright, this place is gonna blow. We gotta get out of here. This way. But yeah, that's it for the Fires of Atlas. That that fight, I, I probably made the fight a lot easier because I had the uh, spark shot, so. There's our ticket. Uh, there's a ticket out of here. Oh yeah, the, the escape pod. Wait a minute, is it gonna have enough room for two of us? What are you waiting for? Let's go. Not so fast. We still have a score to settle. Now? We beat the game. I think I think it's fine. We can have a fight on Earth, okay? Where everything's fine. I think that's the best place. We don't have time for this. Ever consider what it took to get here? How many comrades I betrayed? How many lives I've ended? You did what you had to. You want a tone? Fine. Help us rebuild what the society destroyed. Albert, naive to the bitter end. For the soldier, there is no life without war. Defend yourself. Wait. All right, combat against uh, Janois. Uh, this one's really easy. He just, it's like he's not even trying. He just blows, uh, I mean, I could spark shot in the wind. He's really easy. It's not, it's not meant to be a challenge because you already beat the final boss. So. What the, what the, what are you doing? God, I'm sick of you. Sick of staring at you in the face and seeing the broken dreams and wasted potential. The man who spent hours talking with his sister, planning a better world. But is he now? I lost myself in War Albert. Don't make the same mistake. Goodbye. Janois! Janois! Shockwave blew your escape pod off course. Sit tight. I'm on my way. Damn it, I can't get close enough. You're right. You're right in the path of the debris. Get out of here. I'll blow the pod open. Get ready to jump. No. You'll get yourself blown off the carrier. Just go already. Damn it, my veneer won't engage. Albert. That's enough. Get out of here. Don't give up. Anita, stop. Too late. Brace for impact. we were done for I'm glad we all made it so long as we're all hail and haughty eh except your noise he shoved me into that escape pod just before Atlas went up such a such as mouse's way just when we were starting to Understand each other.
I think it's about time we got going. We've all got a lot to do, sir. Yeah, Soldier Boy's right. We've got a world to rebuild. Guess it's just the two of us now. Felt like we'd been we'd be together forever. Yeah. What about you? I haven't thought much about myself, but but I still owe you that vacation. You remembered. Still, the world's scars run deep. So I thought we could travel. Bring hope to those still living in fear. Bring peace to where we, war still reigns. I think Janois would have wanted it this way. Think he'll be waiting for us? There's only one way to find out. With the controller dead and the society shattered, the nations of Earth draw together once again, exhausted by years of senseless, empty conflict. In unison, they turn back to long-abandoned dreams, rebuilding them with the but one desire that the mistakes of the past never be repeated. 2070, with repairs complete, Atlas is brought online, opening a flow of energy and resources to an impoverished world. Mankind united at last, the door to the universe now stands open. Atop the pillar of heaven, man prepares to step into a sea of stars, safe for as long as he does not forget the true worth of his creations. The End Ah, what a great game. I forgot how much I enjoy this game. It's been years since I had played this before. Thank you, Yoshitaka Mano, for the character design. He's the one who does all that concept art uh, for Final Fantasy for all, the, all of the years. If you look at the box art for this thing. That's it. A little faster. Looks like Kark's uh, become his own man. Not bad. Good training is critical, sir. Actually, I think I gave him the Russian accent last time I remember it, but oh well, whatever. And I learned from the very best. Okay, man, let's see you jump. Yes, sir. I kind of wish they gave Clark more screen time. Clark Wilson, as commander of the newly formed 1st Centric Monster Division, Lieutenant Wilson continues to serve his country to this day. Yeah, I wish he got more screen time and dialogue, but oh well. You can't, you, you can, I wish uh, during the final cutscene they gave everyone a, a, a show, like Sakata did something and all this, but oh well, whatever, it's not a big deal. Thank you all for your help, Emil. Mikhail, it's too dangerous out here. But I'm bored. I know, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Uh, Emil, Emil said, Will you take care of this one too? Sure. Yeah, B. Meals stuck healing, but Meal Sinsky, as meteor between Revolutionary Army and government, Emil proved instrumental in restoring peace to Bar Barukta. He now resides in the city of Shadrach. So, yeah. Yeah, too bad. He, he didn't get very many lines either when he joined. So, he's kind of a. I mean, he's the healer character, but. So. Uh, there's Luvin. Oh, is that one lady? Came to pay your respects, huh? It's the least I can do to atone. I think I gave her the Irish accent, too. This war has done a number on all of us. What's your name? Just call me Bomber. Luvin al Habi. Returning to the ARS, Luvin published the results of his investigation to the Society. Bomber is currently on top secret assignment. Yeah, too bad we only got to do one scene with him, really. I mean, he talked quite a bit, which was entertaining, but, uh, 
I like the fact that there was a, a required section for him. I wish all the characters had a required section. Quite a few of them don't, so there's action. We took care of him, Bappy. I knew you would. There's something I want to ask about. Do whatever makes you happy, my boy. Thanks, man. Just keep your nose clean, you hear? How old is Axel? Anyway, Axel is like a teenager. Al a Axel Bongo. With Django rebuilt, Axel joined Africa's newly formed unification, unified peacekeeping force, battling across the continent for preserve a fragile peace. Ah, the graphics for the game were great too. I liked all the mechs, designs, and everything with that. Um, uh, they just, I think they, they worked for the world. You know, different varying characters. Obviously, we did suffer from color, different coloration of characters for difficulty, but still. Start developing right there. Okay. Well, that should do it. Have fun. Just gonna jump on. Oh, there's this little robot, by the way. If you got, I think if you got him, he pops up. Dr. Sakata, wait! Sorry, the world needs my intellect. Yeah, yeah, I think the robot isn't there if you don't find him. Akihiko Sakata. After publishing the findings of his shield research, Dr. Sakata oversaw the rebuilding of Atlas, but Wonderless soon struck again. Uh oh. Anyway, Nobu Matsu, Mishida, yeah, all the uh, the sound work in this game is fantastic. That yeah, music kind of messed up there. That's a crimson blow, Vonzer! Come on, let's get him! Bulls. Oh, you did the whole samurai thing, huh? Master, I'll know you're out there. Or not, he's dead. Rook. In times, Rook's search for his master carried him across the world. The mercenary was last sighted in the Burskin Tundra. Yeah, the music in this game is fantastic. I think they did a really good job with the sound work. And, and no, Amatsu, Mitsunori, and the other two. Sorry, their names went by so fast. Fantastic soundtrack. I, I, I approve. Come back here, you little maggot. Grant, settle down. J just trying to scam, right? I keep changing the voice. Stop right there, buttercup. <laughs> Albert. I know we'll meet again someday. Anita DeMonte. As the new Guardian Commander-in-Chief, Anita would go on to lead a worldwide drive to reconstruct the Atlas Orbital Elevator. Yep. Sir, Albert's done it again. Indeed. It's only a matter of time now. Albert, it's been an honor. Man, I think we started the game being a bodyguard to this guy, and then we ended up saving the world. Crazy, huh? Yeah, I kind of wish uh, the side characters, uh, and this, and that's it for that. So I wish, uh, I wish the side characters had more to say and interact. Basically, the only ones that really mattered at a point were like Brenda and like Anita. Uh, Rook took some. I, I know they get more scenes if you actually choose them for certain um, uh, missions. They actually get some extra dialogue, kind of like if you took Rook every time you talked to Janoice, or every time you encountered Janoice, he had Rook. Rook would always have something to say, uh, although it was usually like Master and stuff like that, or like when Axel, when you brought him there to, to destroy Bishop, for example. Um, I don't remember. I don't know every single instance where you get unique dialogue from your allies. I just wish there was more more dialogue, and I wish that the fi final bit that when. Uh, they were trying to save Albert, that they all actually inter uh, did something in it, like Rook blowing that up, and he had pushed him out of the way, maybe Sakata protecting the ship with a shield or someone. I wish they had done that, so that way everyone got a chance to shine for the finale. Because you kept, Albert kept saying, no, everyone get away, just let me die. Not that he wanted to die, but he just didn't want anyone else to get hurt, and everyone's like, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna not follow your orders and save you, Albert, and I thought that was very nice. But yeah, I wish everyone had gotten a, a moment in that point, because it made it seem like people, like Clark, for example. Like, Clark had almost no lines throughout the whole game. He was kind of worthless. 
in terms of like a, a character like he didn't really add anything to the plot other than just being an extra p person to help you like brenda was important because she was the carrier and she had a major lines every time for you know because of her being a the carrier pilot and everything like that um and Miel, unfortunately, didn't have a whole lot of lines either. I get his character. He's your healer. But I wish there was more for him to do. Same with uh, Leuven. I wish his character didn't hurt you or himself very much with his bombs. That's probably the biggest gripe I'd have with this game. Is one, other than the random spawn rates uh, where the enemies spawn, is the uh, your player or your helpful AI. I wish it was a little bit smarter. Uh, unfortunately, there's so many times where the AI would just get self kill because it would just run into battles and stuff like that. Same with Leuven. That's why I never wanted to use Leuven because he would... He would bought his bombs would hurt himself in the long run. Uh, Axel was a little bit more useful, obviously, because he could block attacks and stuff like that. Uh, and he had a little bit more lines because I used him for scenes that needed him to be there. But then after we defeated Bishop, he pretty much had nothing left to say. Uh, Rook was really useful just with his laser can. Yeah, he couldn't shoot low end guys, but he was pretty durable, except for the few times I got destroyed. And he had a lot more story because he had to deal with the Joe Noise. But as soon as he joined you, all he says is, like, I'm chasing after Master. So, you know, not much to him. But it was interesting fighting him over the course of the game and then him joining us. And then uh, finally, uh, Nita didn't even hardly use her. I mean, she was important because she's the Guardians, but we don't join them until like, the last scenes of the game. So not as useful. But I do like that there was, uh, they thought there was like, some triangle thing going on, which probably wasn't, but Brenda was all, you know, jelly over and over that, which is funny. Um, and then Albert. Albert's a nice guy. I mean, he's your standard good guy, wants to save the day, help people. But I think he really, he did grow. I mean, he started off as being pretty straightforward and until his friend gets killed and everything. And he kind of grows from being this guy who's just a bodyguard to saving the world and wanting to help war, the world from war. You know, but he does kind of suffer from being, I'm a super good guy syndrome. Jernois is probably the most interesting character, obviously being the villain, being, uh, you know, he'd been fighting wars forever, wanted to save his sister, but he couldn't help it. And in the end, he sacrificed himself to save um, Albert. But yeah, Gun Hazard, a fantastic game. I wish they had made more in it. They did technically make another game similar to this called uh, Alternate. I think it was uh, Front, uh, Front Mission Alternate or something like that. Um, but yeah, Omisoft did a good job with this game. Overall, I just wish they had made more games in this vein. Which they kind of did with Front Mission 5, but I wish they would made those spin-off series. But yeah, that's it for Front Mission Gun Hazard. I hope you had a blast playing this. I know a lot of people aren't aware of this game. I hope you'll uh, check it out when you get a chance. Commander, this is Colonel Light Scout Unit 8. We're two clicks due north of the Atlas Elevator now. It's a Vonzer. Must have drifted ashore recently. It looks like it's been to hell and back, frankly. No, 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 no sign of the pilot. Not even a body. Where the hell did this thing come from? The end. Yeah, it looks like Jernois maybe survived. And we do our own thing. But yeah, so that's it for Front Mission Gun Hazard. I had a blast playing this. I enjoyed it. It was a fun, frustrating journey from beginning to end. And I hope I brought a, a unique game to people's uh, radar because a lot of people aren't aware of this game. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to buy this uh, legally anymore, unfortunately. Because it's one of the many games that have dropped off the face of the earth. I don't think you can buy this on any shop or any eShop or anything like that. So unfortunately, if you want to play this game, you have to ride the waves, baby, if you know what I mean. But uh, if you get a chance, try to play this game out. See see if you found any extra stuff that I might have missed. I know I didn't find every single thing or every extra dialogue. But I tried to find most of the stuff and try to give it a, a fun playthrough. And like I said, I just wanted something different for a while. I like Front Mission, but it was nice to play this spin-off game and do something that wasn't too strategy-based. It was all reflexes, which proved how bad my reflexes are. But yeah. So anyway, we'll lead it, lead it off there. One day I will play another front mission. Which one it'll be? Who knows? The Vonzer, the Vonzer pilot of me waits for the call. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next game.